Yo, so let's get started. Today I gotta discuss the super keyword. Super just refers to the parent class when using inheritance. A child class is also known as the subclass. The parent class is also known as the super class. Super just means parent for all intents and purposes. The super keyword is used within constructors and method overriding. Method overriding is a whole nother topic that we'll discuss. We're more focused on constructors in this topic. We use the super keyword to call the parent constructor to initialize attributes. Let me give you an example. We'll be creating a few different classes. Let's go to File, New, Class. We will begin by creating a class of Person. Person will be the parent, the super class. Let's say that any person object has the following attributes. They will have a string of first, meaning first name, then string last, meaning last name. We'll need a constructor. It's going to be the same as the class name, person, parentheses, curly braces. When we construct a person object, we will need to pass in the following arguments, a string for first name, first, and a string for last name, last. This object's first name attribute, this.first, equals the argument that we receive for first. Same thing applies with last. This.last equals the argument we receive for last. And then we'll create one method in this demonstration. This method won't return anything. We will name the method show name. All we'll do is output the following this.first plus a space plus this.last. Okay, let's test this class out. Person, person equals new person. But we do have to pass in a first and last name. I've already used SpongeBob for too many examples, so let's mix it up. This time I'll pick Harry Potter. Or feel free to pick a different franchise that you like. So one person from Harry Potter is Tom Riddle. We have a person object with this first name and this last name. First, last our person is going to have a show name method, show name, then call it. There we go. There's our person objects, first and last name, Tom Riddle. Our person class will be the parent class. We'll create a few other classes to inherit from this person class. We're going to create a class of student that's going to inherit from the person class. The student class will inherit these attributes and methods. Let's create a new class of student. Student will extends the parent or super class of person. Since student is inheriting from person, student is going to have a first and last name already and a show name method. What other attributes does a student have that a person might not? Well, students have a GPA, a grade point average. We'll declare that as an attribute, double GPA. We're going to create a student constructor. Let's say that when we create a student, we need to pass in a string for first name, string first, string last, and double GPA. What's their grade point average? Now, rather than assigning our first and last name within this constructor, such as this.first equals first, this.last equals last, and this.gpa equals GPA. We are receiving a warning. There is no parameterless constructor available in person. We're not able to assign these attributes of first and last within the constructor for student. This is because student inherits from the person class. Since the constructor of our parent requires a first and last name, we have to pass these arguments to its parent of person. How we can do that, going back to the child class, we're going to be using the super keyword. Any arguments that the parent requires, we have to send the parent these arguments from the child constructor. And how we can do that is use the super keyword and then pass in those arguments of first and last. And now Java is happy. 
Super just refers to the parent. Imagine that we replace the super keyword with person. Think of it like that. And now this should work. Going back to our main file, we should be able to create a student object. Student, student equals new student. We have to pass in a first name. First name will be Harry. Last name will be Potter. Then we have to pass in a GPA because our student constructor requires it. Harry Potter has a 3.25 GPA, let's say. Our student object should have these attributes, this method, and this attribute from the student class of GPA. Let's test it. Student.showName. This student's name is Harry Potter, and they should have a GPA. Let's print student's GPA attribute. 3.25. But not only that, let's create a method to display their GPA. Within the student class, we will create a method that doesn't return anything. It will be show GPA. We will output the following. Let's say this dot first plus a string apostrophe S. So Harry's GPA is plus this dot GPA. Let's take our student object, call the show GPA method that we have declared. Harry's GPA is 3.25. Let's create one more class. We will create an employee class. Class employee. Employee will inherit from the person class. Employee extends person. Since employees aren't studying, they're not students, they instead get a salary. We will create an integer attribute of salary. And then we need that constructor for our employee object. All employees will require the following arguments. A string for first name, string first, a string for last name, string last, and an integer for our employee's salary. I will attempt to assign these attributes for our employee. Again, it's not going to work, but let's try it. This dot first equals first. This dot last equals last. This dot salary equals salary. Again, we're receiving that warning. There is no parameter list constructor available in person. Since employee extends person, and our person constructor requires a first name and a last name, we have to send our person constructor these arguments first and last. So again, going back to our employee class, we will call the constructor of our parent using the super keyword, and then passing in those arguments, first and last. Let's create a method within our employee class, void show salary. Let's output the following. We'll say this dot first, this person's first name, apostrophe s, we'll create the employee of Hagrid. Their salary is, pick unit of currency, I'll pick American dollars, plus this dot salary. Now we'll need to construct an employee object. Employee, employee equals new employee. We have to pass in a first name, a last name, and a salary in order to construct an employee object. We're going to pick Hagrid. Hagrid's first name is actually Rubius. Last name, Hagrid. Hagrid's salary will be $50,000, let's say. All right, let's take our employee, call its show salary method. And there we go. Rubius, also known as Hagrid, Rubius' salary is $50,000. In conclusion, super refers to the parent class. 
student and employee inherit from person. Since the constructor of the parent of person requires a first name and a last name, any children objects that we create, we have to call the constructor of the parent and pass in those arguments to satisfy Java. If the parent didn't require these arguments, then you wouldn't need to. And well, everybody, that is the super keyword in Java.